Hello everyone. I am Mohammad Ikram Danish, Department of Mechanical Engineering, 8th Sem, D Section, BITM College, Palari. Today I am here to present a seminar topic on ER fluids, electro rheological fluids. I am presenting this video under the guidance of Suraj Vasant Yadahalli, Assistant Professor, BITM, Palari. Contents Introduction, Material for ER Fluids, Working Principle, Cellulose Derivatives, Advantages, Disadvantages, Application, Conclusion and the References. Introduction ER Fluids are also called as Smart Fluids and electro hydraulical Fluids consist of micro or nano size polarizable materials that are suspended in a non-polar liquid medium. These fluids are smart intelligence system that can respond to an external electrical field achieving by adjustable transformation between a liquid and a solid phase. In the absence of electrical field, particles are freely suspended in a liquid medium. When the electric field is switched off, the suspension states return to a Newtonian fluid state. The properties of an ER fluid drastically changes by the induction of an electrical field. Material use for ER fluids. ER material has been developed by introducing polarizable material such as silica and cellulose. The various conducting polymers, carbon nanotubes, graphite oxide and poly ionic liquids particles. Later, the ER and the ER effects, mainly dynamic yield stresses, is introduced for better development. A simple ER fluids can be made by mixing the corn flour in a light vegetable oil or silica oil, mineral oil, hydrocarbon oil. Preparation of ER fluids Inchically, Initially Powder with different particles size will be prepared with precautions that all the particles should be same throughout. Powder will be passed through the proper size sleeve and weight and electronic weighting pan. While adding the oil into powder, care should be taken to stir the mixture continuously so that the powder gets mixed with the oil throughout. This mixture will be stirred with the help of glass rod continuously for an half an hour through mixing. Thus the ER fluid be prepared. After the preparation of ER fluid, it will be passed through a vein pump for 4 to 5 times of obtained homogeneous mixture and a good result for better development. Working principle The electric particles, which are typically micrometer or nanometer scale when the electrical field is applied. However, the micro particles, usually in the 0.1 to 10 mu ranges, align themselves along with the lines of electrical field. Due to this electrical field, the viscosity of ER fluids get increases and the property has been developed meanwhile a series of pan or clay composites have also attained immerse interest thus the dash of formation of the bonds in the modes vertical axis as bingham The right side figure shows the without electrical field the particles movement. With the electrical field shear mode has been shown. And also the squeeze mode and the vibration mode. Shock absorbance. Shock absorbance works, or works by dampering and impact that the constantly changes magnitude by forcing a fluid through the holes 
for a tightly scaled perforable piston traditionally shock absorber has have dynamic hydraulic fluid inside them a potential benefits of using an er instead of hydraulic fluid is ability to adjust the the amount of resistance is being created by instantly alternating the electrical feed interacting with er fluids whereas hydraulic fluid have fixed viscosity and are harder to adjust micro fluided chip a micro fluided chip is a piece of material such as glass silica poly with micro channel connected into the material these micro channels are connected together in such a way that the chip will obtain the desired feature the inlet and the outlet parts are created to inject or remove er fluid the er fluid within the chip can be manipulated and control using direct electricity to create to create the microfluidity chip from a different types of material allows for different applications do the small size prototypes are created faster and get a lower cost cellulose derivatives an er material cellulose particles has been confirmed by confirmed to be one of unique hydrated er materials in which the electro responsive characteristics that can be achieved by the absorption of marginal amount of water cellulose carbonated in the shown in figure a and phosphate micro crystalline cellulose has been shown in the figure b advantages the advantages of an er fluid can be control condensely more mechanical power than the electrical power used to control amplifier the main important advantages is to is the speed of response that are few other effects able to control such as large amount of mechanical or hydraulic power so rapidly the er fluid changes from a newtonian liquid to a particularly crystalline semi hard slush er model can be easily converted into the another data model like network hierarchical etc it has a better visual representation and it is easy conventional to any data model disadvantages limited relationship representation the loss of information content no representation of data manipulation popular for high level designs applications these are the many different applications where the er fluids are been used like engine mounts clutches or brakes shock absorber shock absorber walls actuator polishing robotics microcontrollers etc conclusion excellent future like fast response simple interference between electrical power input and mechanical power output and precise control make er technology attractive for many applications this er fluids have the ability to change their property by using an electric field to manipulate the particles within the fluid these advantages this advancement in technology and methodology allows 
applications of this type to go beyond when it was first developed. With the new material exhibiting different characteristics, it will it is hard to image a limit for the possibility of the ER fluids. And these are the references for the ER fluid latest ER fluids changes and the developments. Thank you.